it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. If you're familiar with Dolls Kill and you like pastel colours like I do, then you may know the brand Sugar Thrills. Sugar Thrills is uh, under the doll Coco on Dolls Kill, so there's a couple of different dolls and each doll represents a different style. Coco, well she's the one that probably most represents my style, and when you click on her, a pastel wonderland appears in front of you. I've always had so many items from Sugar Thrills on my wish list for so long and the problem with this website is that usually when they list stuff it's only available for a certain amount of time and then it sells out and then often you never see it again. So for example this top that I'm wearing, I had this top in my wish list on Dolls Kill, this is way before I was on YouTube, back when I could never justify spending money on clothes. I justify it now because when I make YouTube videos I play ads so I can make money back, but before I was on YouTube and I was, you know, looking at clothes, I could never justify spending like $50 on a top or $100 on a dress. And I had this top sitting on my wish list and eventually it sold out before I had a chance to buy it. They never restocked it. And uh, anyway, I bought this on Depop. I got it off someone for, I think it was $30 or something. I had it as a ISO item. It's new, luckily for me. Like, I think she hardly ever wore it. So I do love this top and I love a lot of the things by Sugar Thrills. I have a really good thing going on with Dolls Kill where I just email their marketing manager and I say, hey, I want to make a video about this and this and this. And then she's like, cool, tell me the items you want and I'll send them to you. I told her I really, really want to do a Sugar Thrills haul. There's so many things from Sugar Thrills that I want to show off. So she was like, yeah, yeah, give me a list. So I gave her a huge list. A huge list. Three parcels have arrived here. There's, there's three gigantic parcels down here. I'm not entirely sure which items they did send and what they left off the list. Here we go. <laughs> this is exciting for me. This is very, very exciting for me. This is, I believe this is called like the Sugar Thrills Shagadelic Weekender or something. And it's a giant duffel bag. Yeah. It's faux fur, got pink hollow on the side. It basically looks like a Louis Vuitton uh, cape ball, I believe it is, but so much better, so much better. I've seen this bag all over Instagram for so long and I've always wanted it, but almost every time I went to buy it, it was out of stock. Now that I have it here, look, if you've been considering buying this bag, can I just say, just do it. Okay, so it has this long strap here. How nice is that? I absolutely adore it. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is like literally if someone turned me into a bag, this is probably what I would look like. It's not that soft. It's just, I mean, it's faux fur. And it's not really, really soft faux fur, but it's, it's more about the look, isn't it? It's about the aesthetic of it. Ah, oh, and the pink hollow for all you holosexuals out there. Are you a holosexual? Oh, I thought so. Well, that just made my day. I feel like I could end this video here and be happy, but uh, there's more. Oh. <laughs> ah! Yeah, look at this, Archie. I'm so glad they sent this. This is new. This is the Sugar Thrills Rainbow Fur Backpack. Now, this was on pre-order for a while and I was eyeing it off for so long. You ain't ready for this. Isn't that just the cutest little backpack you have ever seen in your life? Oh, it's so adorable. Wow, it literally like matches my, well, look at that. Look, it matches my backdrop perfectly. Amazing. So on the back here, it's like a, a sparkly sort of pink like that. And it opens up with this flap like this. And then on the inside, that's what it looks like inside. Looks like you could fit a phone and a purse. It's not, the opening isn't huge. Like it, that's how big the opening is. So I don't think you'd fit much else. Just, just the essentials for going out to the shops or something like that. Ugh, this is adorable. I'll put it on my back so you can see. I do need to adjust the straps and everything, but just so you can see what it looks like. Ah, oh, it's the cutest backpack ever. I'm so happy about this. Oh, I love it. Maybe I'll put like a peg or, or something up here so I can hang it right there because I feel like that that just needs to be like the center of attention at all times just like Archie okay what have we got oh oh our first item of clothing this is a sugar thrills top it's got a little cherry on it oh. it's made of a very very thin material I'm not not that impressed by the material it feels warm but it also feels quite thin at the same time. Okay, here it is. This fabric is very, very skin tight. 
and it isn't particularly stretchy either so it's it's like a glove like literally this top is like a glove it has these beautiful sleeves that Archie just pointed out they're kind of like flared up a little bit like that and I really like that they're long sleeves I have such an obsession with long sleeves that I mean you saw the top I was wearing before how it came down over my thumbs I love sleeves like that and these ones are really long too they come right down to my hands it's got this cute little cherry design on it just here now I had hoped that this would be like a kind of 3D little cherry but it's just embroidered it is very very sweet though I don't know about this color on me I kind of feel like nude colors like this they really really wash me out you know I don't really care what other people think as long as I like the clothes that's all that matters and I really really like this I won't be able to wear it very much because it's summer in Australia right now but I will definitely wear this when the weather gets a bit cooler like I said though it is quite sort of skin tight fabric so I guess you just kind of have to watch what sort of bra that you wear underneath I think that the bra that I'm wearing right now you can see the wire underneath my boobs there so I probably have to you know try a few different bras with this one and see what works but all in all, this is very flattering. I really, really like it. Do you like it? Okay, I don't know if I love this or if I hate it. Like, when I saw this on the website, I asked them to send it to me because I just, I really wanted to show you guys. Until I pull this out of the bag, I don't know if I love it or if I hate it. But, uh, have a look at this. This is a bunny rabbit backpack. Look. It's got this sort of really, really shiny strap to it here. That's a very unusual material. It's a very, very thick. It kind of feels like slippery, kind of rubbery material. He has these, oh, oh, interesting. The ears have, I didn't realize that, the ears actually zip open as well. So you can put stuff in the ears. So I guess, I mean, I don't know what you could fit in there, but you can fit stuff in the ears. Yep, both ears have the zip like that. He actually opens up at the back here. No, hey, that's not for you. So that's where he opens up there like that. So you, you really couldn't fit much in there at all. You could not, I don't think you could fit hardly, you could fit your phone and I guess just some coins or something, but yeah, this really isn't a practical bag, but it is an adorable bag. So that's what he looks like. He's got the big ears like this. Eh, that, that looks a little bit cruel holding him like that. There you go, that's what he looks like. His little feet too. Do the feet have zippers? No, no they don't. There he is. He feels really very well made. I'm quite impressed by the quality of this bag. But also, like I said, I don't know if I love it or if I hate it. Because, like, it, it's almost scary. I don't know, but it's, it's cute, but it's kind of scary. Kind of giving me, like, haunted doll vibes. But it, it's cute at the same time. I think I will actually wear this. I feel like this is very attention-grabbing. But, hey, you know, you have a bit of fun before you die, right? You like him? No, not the eyes. Don't go for the eyes. Okay, what have we got here? It's like a top. Oh, ah, this is really, really sweet. Okay, that is a, a very, very deep V-neck. So there it is. It's this cute little pink top. I don't know if my bra will show with this, so we'll put it on and see. Okay, this is a very sweet top. I really like the colour. It doesn't feel like the fabric is particularly good. It's just really, really cheap t-shirt kind of fabric. The little ribbon, I think that's that's the nicest part about it. It's the little ribbon details. At the same time, if you don't want to pay that much for a top like this, you can DIY that. You can just make some little slits in any pink top and put a ribbon through it. The ribbon is actually making it fit in a strange way. Have a look. See that? See how it's sitting? It's kind of like bunching up like that. That's because of the ribbon. So I think I'll probably have to undo it and play around with it a little bit to get it to sit properly because yeah it's just it's bunching up really weirdly. Okay I love really really long sleeves but I also love sleeves that cut off just at that sort of like mid arm length. I think it's really really elegant. I do feel a lot like a ballerina in this top. Not mad about it. But it does feel quite cheap and not that well made. So I, I don't know. I don't know about this one. It's pretty, but I don't think it's an essential thing from Sugar Thrills. This is exciting. This, it's obviously a pair of shoes. Now, there's a couple of different shoes that I asked them for, so I don't know which ones they've ended up sending. Ah, damn! <laughs> oh my god. These are sick. These are so, so pretty. Wow, look at that. So the heel itself, the shoe style, almost looks like like a, a vintage, like a 1960s kind of retro high heel with this really unusual heel shape. But then it's got these clear plastic bits and then the plastic has the little pearls. And this is like, oh, don't you dare. 
So this goes around your ankle like that, and then it's got all the little crosses and hearts and stuff that hang off it. Oh, I'm so excited to put these on. Okay, so the heel is really, really comfortable. The little charms are so beautiful. They are very heavy, I'll, I'll tell you that much. When you're wearing them, you do feel like you've got lead weights on your feet, but it's totally worth it because they look incredible. I'll have to wear these for a longer period of time and let you guys know if they're comfortable or not because this is just me walking around the house but I do adore the look of them. They're stunning, stunning shoes. I don't know how dirty they'll get wearing them around, but hey, they, they give you a lot of height. They are very, very tall heels. I'm pretty experienced at walking in heels, so I can comfortably do this, but if you're not that experienced with heels, I don't know how you'd go wearing these for long periods of time, but I adore them. They're so beautiful. Box number three now. Okay, what have we got here? This is a skirt. All right, so this skirt is nowhere near as long as I thought it was going to be based on the photos. Kind of feels a bit cheap, just feels like, I don't know, almost like the sort of skirt that young kids would wear to ballet kind of thing. It doesn't feel that luxurious or anything like that. Okay, this skirt is adorable. I do feel like an absolute princess wearing it, but like I said, it isn't particularly luxurious. It's not made very well, so don't expect, you know, to be blown away by the quality of it. But if you really like the look of it, then definitely go for it. It's so cute. It's actually exactly the same shade of pink as this top that I'm wearing. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in green clothes. It's very, very voluminous, as you can see. It sort of sticks out a lot. But if you balance this out with a pair of heels and a nice sort of tight-fitting top, then it's really, really nice. I do feel like a Disney princess right now with my little bird friend. Are you the frog? If I kiss you, will you turn into a prince? Okay, next up, this is a top that's basically exactly the same as the one that had the little cherry on it by the looks of it. It's exactly the same fabric, the same colour as well. I think the only difference is it's got a little sort of daisy on it. Okay, so just like the one with the cherry, this one is again skin tight. It has the beautiful long sleeves. I think the cut is exactly the same as well, so really the only difference is the little detail here. This one is just a little daisy, like that. Both of these tops are really, really cute. Very tight, but very, very cozy. I do really like them, and I think this looks quite nice with this skirt. What do you think? Okay, next up, this is... I don't even... <laughs> Look, I just asked for this. Hey, can you let go of that? So, uh, I asked them to send this one because morbid curiosity. So, my favourite bag that I've ever owned is one that I bought in Harajuku. This one here, I get a lot of comments and questions asking me about this. I have only ever seen it once, that was in Harajuku, and I've never seen one like this again until I saw this on the Dolls Kill website. <laughs> Look at this. It's a giant love heart bag. It's, it's bigger than me. It's huge, absolutely enormous. There's no zip, it's just a giant bucket like that. I can fit inside it. What do you think, Archie? You like it? What's going on? Yeah, so the bag is really, really nice. I like the pink sparkles, they're very pretty. It's got these uh, long sort of handles like that. So I, I guess, you know, if you're feeling socially awkward and you want to go out and you want to look nice and pink and sparkly, but you don't want anyone to look at you, you could always wear this. Maybe Sophia Nygaard could do a video where she wore a doll's kill bag on her head for a week. What do you think, Archie? Look, I just, I had to try it. I feel like, I guess for the beach or something, this would be great. Like, it's just huge. You could fit a lot of different things. I really feel like this is a good beach bag. Like, you, you can chuck your towel and a picnic and all sorts of things in there. So, yeah, it's cool. It's just, it's really weird and wild and crazy. But it's, it's cool. I like it. <laughs> I think this is a dress from memory. Ooh, yes. Oh, this is amazing. Look at this. How beautiful is that? Oh, I'm so, so excited. Well, this next one could easily pass off as Princess Peach cosplay. This is so, so soft, so comfortable. I adore it. Look at these beautiful sleeves. So the back it looks like a bit of a mess because I can't actually do it up myself, but that's what it looks like. I really like the length of it. This is probably one of my favorite dresses that I have worn in a very, very, very long time. The velvet is so soft. <laughs> I love off-the-shoulder 
dresses that have sleeves and these sleeves, oh they're so puffy and so beautiful. I'm wearing a bra that has straps underneath so they're kind of sticking out every so often. This is going to look amazing with those velvet heels. Ugh, I'm in love. I don't know how much this was off the top of my head. This is how much it was. If it's any more than $80, it's not worth it, but this is probably, I think actually without a doubt, one of my favorite dresses of the year out of all the whole videos I've done. I adore it. it I, I literally feel like Princess Peach. And uh, are you Yoshi? Next up we have a little tank top and I think I might put this back on. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Put this back on. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. This is adorable. I love the purple color. It has little lacy details around the edges. I've been eyeing this one off for a very long time and I'm surprised it's still on the website because I'm pretty sure this has been on the website for, for quite a while. It's a tiny little purple tank top that says as if and on the back it's got these really really nice lacy details. I love that back. That's stunning. All right well here it is. It's a cute top but it's very small like really 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 tiny. Like I said I do love the back. Have a look. The back is really pretty but yeah I feel like that's a, a bit of money for something that's very very small but I like that it says as if I like the little lacy details it's a really really cute tank most of the things in the sugar thrills range are really cute pastel pretty feminine with kind of like a badass kind of edge to them so this is the epitome of the Sugar Thrills brand, I think, this top. I really like how they styled it on the website. It looks really, really good on the model. I feel like if you had bigger boobs, like I have the smallest boobs ever, but if you had bigger boobs, maybe size up because it's it doesn't really stretch very much, I've noticed. Like I thought that this would be a sort of stretchy material, but it's not, it's quite sort of tight or form fitting. This is really sweet. So this is the mini version of that bag I showed you earlier. I guess because that bag was so successful they decided to come out with it in a smaller version. So there it is. Super cute, exactly the same as the bigger one, just shrunk down. So, oh, no. Oh, I caught you. Was that a good catch? That's what it looks like. It's really, really sweet. So yeah, I saw this styled on the website uh, with that skirt. So I'll try and put that outfit together. I'll try and take some cute photos for Instagram. Don't forget to follow me. It's pretty pastel, please. So uh, yeah, I'll put some pictures of this up because I've been wanting this bag for so long. This one and the big one, they are absolutely stunning. It's, you know, a little bit bulky to have under your arm, but it does come with a strap here. It's got, got a longer strap like that. So you can wear it over your shoulder if you want to, or, you know, have it down by your hip either way. I feel like this will become an everyday bag for me because it's over the top, but it's not too over the top. Like the hollow is just on the sides and it's a really, really nice pink color. It's not really in your face. It's just a little bit in your face. So I think this will become an everyday bag for me. I adore it. And uh, the last bag, I am beyond excited about this. I said to them in my email, I was like, if there's one thing that you send me. Make sure you send me this. Ladies and gentlemen, and Archie, Bye -bye. may I present to you the coolest bag of the year. This is the Sugar Thrills Pet Carrier. <laughs> so it's just like the other bags with the fur and the pink hollow, but it is indeed a pet carrier. You can put your dogs or your cats or your bunnies or your birds in there. So uh, Archie, you're about to be in for a treat, my friend. Okay, so it opens up like that. Look, Archie, what's in there? That's where the birdies go. Do you wanna go in? Wanna go in there? Well, it, it's for you. It's, it's safe. Okay, so it's, it's really firm. It's got a very, very firm base on it. It can't actually collapse. Like I'm squeezing and it's not collapsing. So it looks like it's got a firm base on it. Archie's eager. You wanna go in? You wanna go in there? Okay. Look, Archie. What's going on? What's in there? Is that your little house? Is it your little house? This is where you live now. Guys, I think I need to uh, do a video dedicated to taking Archie out and about in this bag. <laughs> like a little tiny cage? It's the most stylish cage you've ever seen in your life. It's got these two big straps like this. There you go. Uh, and I don't know if it came with a long one. Oh yeah, it did. So it's got the long one there. Now, I don't think any responsible pet owner would just sling this over their shoulder. So I feel like you would probably want to carry it with the two little handles like that to, to gently transport your little friend around with you. You want to come out now? You all done? Okay. Ready, Archie? Ready? Be free. 
Be free! Yeah, you can come out now. No, that's not the way out. No. Oh, I just noticed something. Hang on. Oh, look at this. Over this side, there's a zip. Ah, uh, there. Archie. Here you go. You can come out now. I'm gonna come out. All right, guys, that's everything. I hope you liked this video. Just a short and sweet one. These items from Sugar Thrills were absolutely adorable. I feel like almost all of them were really, really well made as well. It's a little bit pricey to buy this brand, but I feel like there's not many places where you can find those sort of clothes that are made as well as they are. So I do think that they're worth it. I loved everything in this video, especially that Princess Peach dress. That was amazing. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any items from Dolls Kill that you want me to review, just leave them down below. Keep an eye out for my other Dolls Kill videos coming up soon. I have a Dolls Kill Christmas haul. Actually, I have maybe like four or five Dolls Kill videos. They just keep giving me stuff. So keep an eye out for those. Keep an eye out for my upcoming Wish videos. I have some really, really fun ones as well. A Wish Christmas haul. Uh, a wish home decor haul, all sorts of things. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!